In this video, we're going to talk about annotations in GA4. Unfortunately, as you may already know, annotations are not available in GA4 yet. But just like with anything else in GA4, there is a workaround. Let's dive into the browser and I'm going to show you how I deal with this. First of all, who needs annotations? We're looking at perfectly healthy pattern here. Weekends are kind of lower traffic and traffic goes up during the week. But if we dive just a little bit deeper, let's say into landing page report, we're seeing a different picture. So not all the blog posts follow the same pattern. For example, there's a spike here. Okay, it's a GA4 toolbox. It's actually not a blog post, but it had a significantly higher amount of traffic on April 6th compared to other dates. So we could annotate this by saying, here is the reason why this page had significantly higher amount of traffic on that particular day. Unfortunately, as we already said, in Universal, we were able to just click on the calendar and then simply add whatever we wanted to say about this particular day. But here we got to use a workaround. Even though there are external tools that offer easy solutions for annotating your GA4 data, I personally would never share my insights and my uh, findings about data and some particular dates, just like campaign start or what happened that might have caused the spike in the traffic. I prefer using Google Sheets. It's super easy to create a dropdown. And as you can see here, we actually have five categories, campaign, website change, calendar and hot news, and other. And it's as easy as choosing it from a dropdown and then adding some special details about that particular row of data. So for example, we had a campaign called Back to Work Facebook campaign for this particular account, or we had a website change like some old posts have been pruned on that day. Also, if a blog post is published on some particular day, you can add it as a website change. There are days that basically have two annotations. So this campaign ended and a blog post was published, but this is unofficial spreadsheet and it's made for internal use only. So it's not a big deal as long as your colleagues understand what you wanted to say. Now, one more thing about GA4 annotations plugin. When I went into privacy practices, it claims that this plugin actually collects not only personally identifiable information, but also authentication information. For example, passwords, credentials, security question, or personal identification number. I hope that you find this video useful, even though I offer a super trivial solution for annotating data in GA4. And please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.